Welcome back to Fox 13. So here's the deal. We dry things out today, but we stay icy. And then our next round of wintry precip pushes back into our backyard Thursday night and into Friday morning. Freezing rain is a real possibility. To talk more about this, the potential forecast, the impacts, we do want to welcome in a National Weather Service meteorologist, Jacob D. Flitch, with us this morning. Jacob, so glad to have you. We want to talk about the potential for freezing rain. What's the timeline, do you think, for this? Yeah, so the initial onset looks to be about late Thursday, Thursday night into Friday morning. It might initially start as snow, but the concern, like you had already mentioned, is the transition to freezing rain, which likely will cause at least some, if not significant, impacts across the area. Yeah, I mean, how much ice do you think could accumulate? This is kind of a tricky question because there's still time for this forecast to update. <clears throat> Exactly. There's some uncertainty of how much ice will be, where it might see the heaviest, but really any freezing rain is going to cause concerns. Right now, it looks to be amounts of a hundredth of an inch up to a tenth of an inch, but we could see higher amounts, especially the further south you go across the southern Puget Sound, towards Grays Harbor County, and then down towards Portland, where amounts could reach a quarter of an inch, maybe even locally higher. Yeah, that's right. Kind of the focus over the South Sound and Southwest Washington, something that we're going to have to watch for. So, Jacob, even if there's just a thin layer of ice, how dangerous can that be for people? It can be very dangerous. The rain is going to freeze on contact with the surface, which is, you know, different from snow, which takes time to accumulate with freezing rain with it, with, with causing impacts immediately when it hits the surface. That's where we're really going to see uh, impacts pretty much on contact. So really beginning Thursday night is the period of concern that we have. Yeah. So Jacob, I'm already starting to get nervous about this event in that, you know, I've been looking at the updated data, you know, it looks like we might have the right ingredients in place, the cold air from those easterly winds right at the surface, and then that warm air coming through. I mean, what are the ingredients that we have at play for this event? Yeah, and you pretty much spelled them out perfectly. We have cold air already in place. We're going to see those temperatures dip down to the teens tonight, which is very unusual for this area. Temperatures really aren't going to warm up during, much during the day on Thursday. But then we have a system move in with warmer air aloft. But with that cold air staying in place on the surface, that's pretty much the exact ingredients that we look for for a potential freezing rain event, which is what we'll see probably Thursday night into the day on Friday. Now, what about this forecast could change? Like, what, what would need to happen for the freezing rain potential to just get eliminated altogether here? It's very possible. We do expect at least potentially some light snow on the onset. Now, if the cool, cool air can kind of stay in firm in place, even aloft, we could stay more sleet and snow than freezing rain. However, if we do see more warmer air aloft over that cold air, we could see even higher amounts of freezing rain. So there's a lot of uncertainty when you're trying to forecast freezing rain, not to mention the transition to full rain later on Friday as temperatures warm up above freezing at the surface. Yeah, that's right. All right, let's underscore really the practicality, the impacts where the rubber hits the road here. Even a thin layer of ice can be super dangerous for the roads, but then also weighing down trees and power lines. What's the concern for power outages from this event? There is concerns. We already have some wet snow already in place. I drove in this morning and there was wet snow already on the trees and branches overlaying some of those power lines. And with freezing rain on top of that, le leading to heavier amounts and, and weight on those branches, that will be a concern. We'll also see the wind spike up in certain areas, especially up north and towards the foothills during this time period. So the combination of really just the freezing rain, but also maybe some winds in some areas, for, for sure the power, power outage potential is high. Yeah, and so here's the thing, too, is we don't see freezing rain events very often here in western Washington. People maybe don't know exactly the impacts or how it all plays out. Um, could this event on Friday morning be more dangerous than the snow that we saw yesterday? Yeah, we, all this week we've been talking in the office, our concern for more of the freezing rain than the snow. Now, we did see significant snow up north across Port Angeles area, but the freezing rain has always been a concern. And like you said, we don't really see it that much, and even a little bit of freezing rain can really cause significant impacts. So that essentially is why we're even higher concerned uh, with the freezing rain potential later this week. Jacob D. Flitch with the National Weather Service. Love having you on. Thanks so much for joining us, Jacob. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, a great interview, Jacob, perfectly just communicating what we're expecting. And again, it's Friday morning when we could be dealing with freezing rain. Uh, we want to make sure that we are preparing for the possibility.